In today's video, I'm going to show you how to delete a domain from Office 365. First thing we need to do is we need to log into the admin portal. When you do so, you need to make sure that you do not log in with the domain you're going to remove. In this case, we're planning on removing eregion.org. So I have an admin account for eregion.org that I've created. So I'm going to log in with that account. Once I'm in, on the left-hand side of the screen, I want to go over here to Users and then over to Active Users. That will get me a list of all of the accounts that are in this tenant. So what I want to do is select the ones that I'm going to be changing. The quick way to do that is to select everybody up here at the top. And in this case, I'm just going to uncheck the top line here because I do not need to change this eregion.org.onmicrosoft.com user. The next thing we're going to do is in the bulk actions panel over here on the right is I'm going to select edit domains. I'm going to select different domain. I'm going to select, in this case, the default onmicrosoft.com domain, which will give me a prompt letting me know that if these users are using any of these services for Exchange, Skype for Business, Outlook, OneDrive, that their login ID will change. Their passwords will remain the same. So if you just let the users know of this change, that will help them uh, to reconnect to their existing services. Next, you're going to hit Save here. And then I'm going to hit Close. You'll now notice that everybody is in the eregion.org.onmicrosoft.com dot com domain. Our next step is we need to change the default domain for the organization. So we're going to go over here to the setup tab. We're going to select domains. You'll notice here we're already set with eregionorg.onmicrosoft.com as the default, which is perfect. We will not have to make any changes. If, we, if this was not the default and the domain we were removing would be the default, we would have to go through some extra steps uh, to just change the default domain, which is very simple. You can come in here, select the domain, and then you select set as default. Since we, have done, we do not need to do that step, we're going to proceed to remove the domain. And I'm going to go to eregion.org, and I'm going to select remove. It's going to ask us if we want to confirm that. And the answer is yes. So at this point, we have removed the domain from the tenant. If you have questions, you can email us at support at itservices.team. We'd be happy to assist.